Staff announcement. Staff announcement with the driver from 1442 service to Worcester Shrub Hill. Please report to the platform. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome aboard the 1442 West Chilton service to Worcester Shrub Hill. Ah! I will shortly be arriving in your carriage with a selection of drinks, snacks, hot drinks, no hot snacks, unfortunately. I don't have the facilities yet. <laughs> Please don't hesitate to stop me if you have a rumble in your tumble or a leak in your beak. Leak in your beak? I'll be coming through your carriage in real life in a minute. Okay. Bye! Any drinks, snacks, refreshing hot beverages or alcoholic cans? Sorry, does this train not go to Didcot? Does it not? Yes, that's what I'm asking you. Yeah, but does it not is a bit confusing. Does this train go to Didcot? That's better. No, it does not! But um, the person you need to speak to is Jason. Huh? He's in a similar uniform to me, only okay. without the skirt. Right. He's got trousers on. He's not just naked from the waist down. He'd get arrested apart from anything. Right. He won't be on. OK. But he won't be sure. Right. My name's Jason. I'm your conductor for this journey. Please have your tickets available and ready for inspection. Thank you. What's that? Sorry, can you speak into my ears, please? No, Jason. never mind. No, don't, I'm not interested. Easter, it's Easter. I'm a rabbit. OK, I said don't care. Chick, so. chick, chick. Chick, chicken, lay a little egg for me. <laughs> what do you want? Because I've got stuff to do. Yes, I'm a bit worried about um, Russell. Why? Because he won't have a cup of tea and he hasn't got any socks on. Maybe he's in a rush. I think it's his mum. She's not well. Look, I know you love other people's problems, but. I've actually got stuff to do, like my job. And in case you hadn't noticed, Ed Miliband's on the train. Ed Miliband! Shh! Don't, don't bring attention to it, all right? It's just a normal customer. It's known first, so... I won't mention that to him. Oh, Christ, I love Ed Miliband. What do you think he drinks? Probably something organic, because of his ethics. What are you on about? I can't wait to tell Russell. He absolutely loves the Labour Party, Jason. OK, great. Oh, that's exciting. Right. <laughs> Big day. Big is. <laughs> Uh. Russell? Russell? What do you want? Oh, I'm just uh, popping in to say that Ed Miliband is in carriage F. Here I come. Sorry to bother you, Russell. I know you're very busy, but I thought as we've just left Slough, you wouldn't mind me popping in. Popping in. Miliband? Yes. Why are you bored? Um, I'm not sure. How's your mum? No, no, no. Okay, well, if you need anything, I'm, you know where I am. Carriage A. I'll pop back at Malvern. Okay, Russell. Okay, Russell. <laughs> oh, you forgot to put your socks on. I haven't got any socks on today. Get out! His mum is not well. So you move your bag to a larger storage space. It's just that it's uh, actually proven to be quite a hazard to other passengers. Nah, mate. in my seat. Did you reserve it? Well, I mean, I always sit there. Yeah. I've sat there for three years. Yes, but if you didn't reserve it, Tina, there's nothing we can do. This is Jason's department, no, really. No, but it's my seat. Everybody knows it's my seat. I'll have to get Jason to cover this incident. Oh, God. 
God, I don't think it's an incident, is it? Well, it could escalate. Wow! Like this, Tina, you're escalating it. I've got crisps to replenish and starving people to feed. Yeah, I'm just so sorry, Rona, you know, for the hassle. It's OK, but Russell's mum isn't very well. Oh. And Ed Miliband is on the train. Oh, God, I love Ed Miliband. Exactly. I also know someone with the exact same voice mm. as Keir Starmer. Well, that is good. <laughs> but it's a massive secret that Ed's on the train, so we don't want to compromise his safety. Oh, God. Is he in danger? Potentially, if it gets out, yeah. Okay. You can trust me, Rona. Good. I'll just hover near my seat mm. until that person sitting in it alights. OK, but there's a seat there. Yeah, of course, no, no. I just need to stick to my routine. Routine, where, yeah. Yeah, yeah, where was? <sighs> OK. Excuse me. So, so, so sorry to trouble you, Mr Miniband. Um, I just wanted to let you know that this bag is dangerously placed above your head and I, of course, wouldn't want you to come do any harm whatsoever. So, um, yeah. Uh, whilst I'm here, can I... I also check the tickets. They've already been checked. Nope. No, they, they wouldn't have, because I'm the only conductor on board. So. Sorry, we're quite busy. They've already been checked. So you can get on with your little job. With all due respect to you and your constituents, they, they haven't. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is your driver speaking. Just to let you know that if you do happen to be, for example, Ed Miliband, Please be aware that your driver is very much a Labour supporter and Jason, the train conductor, will undoubtedly waive your fare for this journey. Thank you. Sick, Russell. Why are you hovering above our table? Can you leave us alone, please? He thinks you're Ed Miliband. Just a quick message for any little VIPs on board that I do have Prosecco in little bottles if, for example, you are a lovely little politician. Is that the idiot girl who came over earlier trying to give you sandwiches? Yeah. Delayed 1122 West Hilton service from Malibu to Worcester Shop Hill. We are, I'm afraid, currently being held at the platform due to the train ahead of us experiencing a technical fault. We should be on the move soon. I would also like to update this opportunity to apologise for the issues we're experiencing at the moment with the air conditioning at present. We're unable to open the windows. Catering will, however, be coming through to offer you complimentary waters as a small gesture of compensation for the time being. Thank you for your patience. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Please, can we open these windows? It's ridiculously hot. Uh, I, I'm sorry. Legally, we can't. And, and also, they don't actually... Um, hmm. Well, like I said, uh, legally. It, it's so hot, though. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, like I said in my announcement, the air conditioning is faulty. Um, I mean, I can offer you uh, complimentary water when catering oh. comes through, but that's all I can do at this God stage. God's sake. Jason, I need to talk to you. What? What's the matter? I've got people passing out from the heat, so unless it's life or death, can we... Death, Jason, it what? could be. Oh, what's, the, what's wrong? I've got a rash. Can I show you? Uh, can you show someone else? Why? Well, isn't it intimate? It's on my leg, Jason, not at my bum, for God's sake. Look. Oh, oh, ah, ah. <laughs> See? <laughs> Lumpy rash, it goes all I, the way uh, up. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know uh, uh, anything about... Rashes, Rona, you have to ask a doctor. Please, Jason. It's probably from the heat, all right? Could you pass out some more waters before everyone melts into the floor? Oh, helpful, thank you. Excuse me, sir, if I could check your ticket. Excuse me, sir, if you could just wake up so I could check your ticket. Morning, Jason. I'm very much awake as per. <laughs> yes, Tina, thank you. 
Would you like to see my seat reservation? No, no that's fine, Tina. You always sit there. I trust you. I'll um, keep an eye on him for when he wakes up. Oh, he's not asleep, Tina. Ahoy, ahoy. This is your driver speaking, Russell, Hodge. We are still, unfortunately... Currently being held at the platform. Sorry for any mild inconvenience. Uh, I will keep you informed and updated as soon as we are given the go-ahead... ...to get moving. Thank you. Do you want kids, to think? Um, I haven't thought that far ahead. You need to. Jason, because before you know it, you'll be 45, living in a shed, and then you die on your own. Why would I be... Why would I be living in a shed? Because you didn't plan ahead. Living in a shed. But I have got a house. Then you'll just die in your house. You keep talking about death. I don't know. I think it's because I know I can't mention it to, to Russell. What do you mean? Well, his mum is dying. That's why he keeps wearing no socks. He's let himself go. I don't think that's the main indication that his mum's dying. Yeah. But it's out, it's out of character. Yeah. Do you know what I'm going to call my baby? Grim Reaper? No. Focaccia. Like the bread? No, the baby. Ladies and gentlemen, here I am again, Russell Hodge. Apologies for the racket. It's a hand fan. Now we are, I'm afraid, still waiting to be informed that we can move. And let me tell you that I, for one, have grown a full-sized beard. Only joking. So if any inconvenience caused... Now, could the conductor please report to the driver while we're waiting? Can the conductor please report to the driver while we're waiting? Thank you. I'll go. See it, say it, sorted. Who is it? Rona? No, 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 no. Yes, because Jason's trying to get hold of head office to report this air conditioning situation, stuff like that. So it's you? Yes. Well, what do you want? Um, well, I've got this rash. What? Um, do you want a lion bar? At all. Um, I thought so. Where's the lion bar? Oh. That's the point. I think I left it on the trolley. Your memory. Hmm? Hmm? One of the worst things about you. <sighs> so hot in here, isn't it? No. No. Not really. Can you get Jason? Why? Well, that's not how it works. I want to have a private conversation with him. <sighs> OK, yes, I'll, um, I'll get him. And? Your My lion, lion bar. bar. I don't know how you can eat chocolate in this weather, Russell. You really are special. I just want you to know that. You are standing that close to me. <sighs> it's not funny. Is that you, Jason? No, it's uh, Eamon Holmes. Well, come on in, Eamon. <laughs> Thank you, Rona. Here he is, the man of the moment. Off you go. Oh. It's hot in here, isn't it? You think this is hot? Have you been to Cairo? 48 degrees, highest temperature in Cairo, capital of Egypt. What's that, Eamon? 118. Oh. That's hot. Yeah. What can I do for you? What can't you do for me? Drive the train. <laughs> <laughs> Let's run away together. We've got the vehicle. I know the routes, you know the routes. Run away with me. I'm not going to run away with you. Don't want to? You've been serious? I don't know anymore. Is everything okay, mate? Yes. Seem like you're struggling a bit. No. Everything alright at home? Mother's ill. Yeah. Yeah. Um, One of them. She's been given just the two months to live, so pretty ill. Buggered. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault, mate. Well, you'll let me know if there's anything that I can do, won't you? No, bottle it up, crash the train. Mm. You can probably talk to HR. Joking. More uh, or less uncrashable, these things. 
I'd miss it too much. The tracks, the snacks. You. Yeah. Jason Corbett. All right, well, I'm not too far, so um, there's, a, there's a guy pretending to be asleep in carriage B, so I'll go and check his... Um, Pulse. Tickets. Ticket. Can you ask Rona to um, fetch me that lion bar she oh, promised? Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, uh, Rona, can you bring... Can you bring Russell's lion? Can you get a minute? Hey, man, open the door. Have you been there the whole time? No. Listening to our conversation? I just... I fell asleep. Because it's so... Hot. Comfy. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, Rona. Yeah. Russell texted me at two a.m. Yeah, and hang on, I'm just doing this. His his mum died. Um, I don't think he wants to talk about it, but just if you see him, just avoid. Uh, doing or, or saying anything that might remind him. Oh, God. How's he got your number? I wish he'd text me. I don't know, but just leave him be, OK? Well, he'll need to talk about it. If he wants to, I'm sure he will. I'll ask him. No, I'll just go. No, no, just let him do it how he wants, OK? Also... You, you think I should smile? I... No. You look like a skull. Yes. It's Halloween, Jason. Skull. It's a symbol of death. Right. Right, so that's gonna... What I'm saying is you're... Remember what we just spoke about? Why don't you just stay here? Yeah? I w yeah, well, I've got yeah. lots to do, Jason. Okay. You know that. But, yeah, great. Stay. Just here. Oh, God bless him. I hope he's OK. Russell, do you want a tea? No, thank you. No, I've got a flask. Oh, yeah. Silly me. Do you want a trick or treat? What's the treat? Me? No, thank you. Yes, yeah, only joking. Was that the trick? No. So what's the trick? It's a surprise. For fuck's sake. Is it edible? E edible, but not really swallowable. I can't swallow a mouth unless you eat it off. God, that'd be so horrible. Twix! Um, maybe. You only get one life, Rona. News, Russell. If Ken ever needed a Barbie, I'm your girl. Just saying, we're a bit like Barbie and Ken. Never heard of them. Sorry, Russell. My God. There isn't a Twix, is there? Not this time, no. No. Hi, Jason. Hi, Tina. Happy Halloween. <laughs> uh, why didn't the train stop at Isham? What? The train just passed through Isham. Uh, you know, it didn't stop. Russell? You didn't stop at Eastern, what's going on? Excuse me. Do you do sandwiches? Um, is the Pope a bit keen on God? Sorry, what? <laughs> yes, I do do sandwiches, is what I'm saying. 
Do you do anything vegan? I'm vegan. Look, I am extremely talented at my job, but I am limited on that front. But the truth is, it's not my fault. So don't pour milk on me or blood. What? Uh, I've got quavers, uh, peppermint tea, or nuts. She looks like me. Uh, Jaffa cakes. The sandwich woman. Big roll. Or you can fish out the cheese and have a tomato sandwich, but uh, if you shove the quavers in, it'll still have butter in. Can't fish that out. I'm not Yuri Geller, am I? I think I'll just leave it. Yeah, like you. I say, it's not actually my fault. I love animals, as much as you do. And I would never eat a little dog or a big dog. You can trust me on that. Thank you. Russell! Russell! You don't need it today, sir. Russell! Russell! Lovely farm coming up! Let me get a wave of the cows! We won't be stopping, though. Not even for a bovine incursion. <laughs> Russell! Fucking hell. I'm joking. Russell! 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 Jason, I need to talk to you. Yeah, good idea. I'm here, I'm here. Everything's gonna be okay. Can I have a hug? Absolutely not. Going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. You see, the thing is, since Mother died, I feel I can properly express myself. I, 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 it's very difficult to say, and I haven't really um, uh, told anyone this, but um. I think I might be, in fact I know I might be, and am, gay. I think I was just waiting for Mother to pop off before I told anyone if that makes any sense. There's no uh, right or wrong way about to feel. I, I guess the important thing is just keep talking and keep uh, saying how you feel and, and whatever you feel is, um, is, is okay. You're not gay, are you? No. No. I, th I think I might have feelings for R Rona. Huh? Rona? Yeah. Rona's a fruit loop. Is she? I think so, but in a good way. Is it? It is, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the next stop will be Pershaw. If you are needing any of the previous stops, please alight at Pershaw for your connecting train. On behalf of West Jordan Railways, I'd like to apologise for the delays and also any interference uh, that you may have heard on the tannoy. There seemed to have been a glitch on the radio signal. Excuse me, I will get a peppermint tea, please, if you don't mind. Oh, sorry, I don't work here. This is a joke. Excuse me. What is wrong with the staff on this train? Is he OK? What's the matter? I think, um... I have to tell you something, because I think it's starting to drive me crazy. Please don't so... give me any more bad news, Jason. Why are you so upset? I didn't realise he was gay. I just, I just thought he was shy. <laughs> you, you got? Uh, do you have feelings for us all? I feel so stupid. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, Jason. Um, what did you want to um say? Sorry. Uh, off, I think they're offering uh, double pay uh, at, at Christmas. Oh. Um, in case any of us want to work, but I guess we'll all be with our families. Yeah, I haven't really thought about it yet. It's quite far ahead, isn't it? Ages away. No need to, to think about that now. <laughs> Do you want a Kit Kat? Yes, please. I really think someone in Carriage Bay needs a sandwich. Yes, okay, love. 
She's after her job or something. I don't know, Jason, but she looks just like me. Wasn't that the trumpet girl from EastEnders? Yeah, I think, I think so. But you know what, Rona? Yeah. I'd rather, I'd rather blow your trumpet. What do you mean? Hmm? No. No, sorry, tell you, explain it, because I don't really understand. Mm. We have a slight situation, I'm not going to lie. Sheep have congregated on our tracks. Now, I don't know what's happened here. Maybe a shepherd has been distracted by some massive star and uh, has plodded towards the baby Jesus. But the net result is lamb on the tracks. So all we can do right now is your friend of mine, wait. In the meantime, I hope you're all looking forward to Christmas. Thank you. Off. It's me, Jason. Any idea how long the sheep are going to be on their little commute? Well, it depends where they're off to, doesn't it? If they're trying to get to Bethlehem, then um, the tracks are the least of their worries. It is 3,092.6 miles to Bethlehem from Reading. That's really specific. That'd be Wikipedia, my friend. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, they've gone, look. We shall be off. Great. Any plans for Christmas? Uh, well, I, th I think I might, um, I might just uh, oh. check in with a quiet carriage. It's just another day of the year, isn't it? Like any other day. Yeah, normal day. You got plans? Have I? Yeah, I'll probably pop down the carvery since Mother's dead. Sounds nice. Very nice. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the 232 West Chilton Christmas Eve train to London Marylebone. We are delighted to have you on board today and wish you a pleasant journey and wish you an even more pleasant Christmassy Christmas. What's got two horns, four legs, and can't see? No, I don't want to joke. What's the matter? Please, Jason, I'm not in the mood. No idea. No, you don't need to know. I just need a bit of space. No, it isn't. The punchline was, was no idea. No idea. Sorry. Silly idea, I guess. Why do you keep saying idea? Oh, no, that wasn't part of the... As in before. When... I don't know what you're doing, Jason. Yeah. I just want to be on my own. Never mind. <laughs> do you do a, a gingerbread latte? What? A, a gingerbread latte? Take a look at my facilities. I'm doing my absolute best here, but I'm not pretty bloody baby Jesus in a manger, am I? It's just a question. Yeah, but it's an annoying question. It was just a fun seasonal coffee. Yes, I know what it is. Do you think I wouldn't love to give you a gingerbread latte, but we don't always get what we want, do we? Well, I didn't mean to upset. No, I'm not upset. <laughs> my wife's just left me. She's gone to live in the Isle of Wight to grow pumpkins and get some space. <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear that. And I'm sorry I was grumpy, I just hate Christmas at the moment. <laughs> yeah. That's on me. <laughs> Actually, I couldn't have a... No, no. Okay, Any drinks, snacks, cold sandwiches, cakes, waters? I'm fine. Oh, no coffee today, Tina. I'm really not in the mood for coffee. Cheer up, Tina, it's Christmas. I find Christmas terribly stressful, if I'm quite honest. We have to go to my husband's parents' farm in Ireland, and it's 
It's incredibly dirty. Mm. The children are all demanding iPads or Dr. Dre headphones, and I have to give a drinks party for 40 people tonight, and I am just struggling to cope a bit, actually. If anything, mm. I'd rather be with you guys, my little train family. I spend more time on this train, Rona, than I do with my actual family. What do you do for Christmas, Rona? Uh, well, I, um, my mum is at her boyfriend's, so there's a man next door, old man with pretty bad shingles, so I'll just check he's okay. He's not good. Yeah, just watch t TV with him, maybe. Don't know. Don't know. I imagine you'd have a... An amazing boyfriend spoiling you rotten. Nope. See you later, Tina. Happy Christmas. Russell? Mm-hmm. Do you want a gingerbread man? Oh, yes. Yes, please. Sorry to Just... bother you. Russell, I just need to ask you a question. If it's about my mother and her passing, water off a duck's back. If you're asking me where I'm spending Christmas, I don't want to know. I'm fine on my own. No, it's about Christmas hours. Do we get paid double if we work tomorrow? Wait, time and a half on Christmas Day, which is actually rather lucrative when you consider it's just another day. Yep. Yep. Mm. Thank you. Mm. You shaved your head. Thank you, Rona. Looks like a bean. A bit like a bean. But it's nice. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We'll shortly be arriving at London Railway right where this train terminates. Please take all your belongings and thank you for travelling this West Chilton Railways. On behalf of the team, we would like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Snow is falling and folks are calling to bring in some Christmas cheer What a feeling The Yuletide season Nothing else can compare When together we'll be Around the Christmas tree What a wonderful time of the year Well, happy Christmas. Yeah, okay. Bye, Russell. Bye, Jason. Bye, Anna. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Passenger announcement. Uh, on behalf of Loudon Head Station, myself and the team would like to wish you a very, very happy Christmas. A very good year. and a very good year. Yeah. Happy Christmas. I didn't really want to be anywhere else. <laughs> Who's driving? I think it's Russell. We all said we might come into work. There aren't any passengers. I know. Why even Dina? Would you like a mold wine free on the house? Uh, Rona? I can't drink alcohol while driving the train, can I? Okay. Oh, yeah. Don't be thick. Ah, uh, shall we stop at Slough and have a little Christmas snack? Ah, now then, I have always wanted to spend Christmas in Slough. Jason. Yeah. Well, we've got no passengers. We can do what the fuck we want. Oh, Jason, don't swear. <laughs> it doesn't suit you, really doesn't suit you. Oh, sorry. So you know um, the baby Jesus? Uh, not personally, no. Do you ever wonder how Mary told Joseph she was pregnant with, with God's baby? Um, no. You know, but just she'd be like, hello, the love of my life. I know we can't have sex till we're married and I'm a virgin, but I'm weirdly pregnant. And also, I'm still a virgin and the baby's not yours. It's God's. No, fair play to Joseph. Not a walk in the park being Jesus' dad. Stepdad.
You would make a fantastic stepdad, Jason. Oh, God, yeah. Why? Just... Just, yeah, I don't know. I think because you're so organised. Handsome. Handsome. Yeah, could, could be there. <laughs> anyway, um, Russell, just wondering if you wanted to put this uh, Father Christmas beard on and maybe I sit on your lap in Slough. No, thank you. Ah. Uh, you can sit on my lap if you like. Yeah, why not, actually? Yeah. I'd love to. Oh, right. Yeah, thanks, Jason. Careful. Ow! That, be oh. careful of that elastic, it's going to sting your head. It does sting my head, actually. It's a bit tight, might go into your brain, Jason. It's on. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho! Ho, ho, ho! That's funny. Merry <laughs> I love this job, you know. Yeah, I don't mind it. Oh, I'm never leaving, realistically. Say ho 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 again, Jason, please. Ho ho ho! <laughs> <laughs>